G'day everyone, how's it doing? We're out on the river today. Uh, today's a big day. I'm gonna start a two week long drift down the Murray River. Uh, cod fishing the whole way. Gonna be camping out of the boat uh, solo. I might have a couple of mates jump in, but a uh, bit of an adventure. See if I can last the whole two weeks of casting and hopefully get a couple of big ones off the surface or land a couple of big cod. So uh, the boat is fully loaded. I got the swag in. I got a big box full of lures, plenty of tremors in there, uh, camera gear, esky, uh, solar panel for charging electric batteries. Uh, I got charging stuff down there. Uh, two lithiums there for the electric, and I've already got two lithiums on. So these batteries are pretty awesome. That should get me through the week. And uh, the river's looking good. So what's, I'm gonna check in every session uh, to let you know how I've been going, if I've got any fish or not, and hopefully get some action. Um, yeah, two weeks on the river, can't make it happen then. I don't think it's ever gonna happen, so stay tuned. Should be some good fish coming. So it's the middle of the day, so just starting off with the Murray Cod Tremor with the diving bib in. This dives to like one or two meters. Uh, perfect for in the river in here, it's not very deep and uh, it's got a big action, big profile. I'll fish this until we get some big shadows and then I'll go to surface. It's always cool making it to bits you fished before, but um, I've caught a meter 20 right here. As I'm drifting down, I can remember this part. Uh, sun's still high, so casting the Murray Cod Tremor with the diving bib. Uh, and I'll go to surface a bit later, but. The surface is going on. Uh, going for the lizard tremor, the paddler. I haven't caught one on the lizard color, so. And I've gone to surface because look how long the shadows are. If there's shadows, I'm all for the surface because subsurface in here is very hard. Yeah. You get snags very easy, and in the current, electric and back in isn't it? Isn't easy very frustrating it takes a lot of patience to fish where it's surface you just cast it out wind it in cast it out wind it in you don't get slowed down by getting snagged and if there's an active one there and he's active enough he'll still eat the surface Okay, here we go. It's uh, the end of day one, or nearly the end of day one. Got about another 20 minutes of surface light here. Keep surface luring away into the darkness, but once it's dark, I'm gonna pull up and set up camp on a sandbar. A nice sandbar opposite here, but I'll uh, check back in if anything happens. If not, I'll see you when it's dark. So, good morning again, my friends. Uh, no bites last night, it was tough not a touch uh so that's day one zero donuts but today it is now day two and it is just starting to get light don't know if you can see that at all but uh i'm heading out the water's boiling for a coffee and i'm gonna start casting go first fish of the trip huh not a monster not a monster there we go there he is from the vibrating away not a bad fish actually 
not too bad for fish one of the trip on the tremor. Pretty happy with that. Good start. Getting back to so get another one. Oh, you're gonna go under the boat, eh? Go under there. And yes, that's why I always wear a glove when handling them, because look at that. Ripped half my thumb off. And that's gonna be really annoying this week. Oh, morning two, or day two, and we're on the board. Nice little start, that fish, not a big one. Uh, missed another smaller one. Just didn't didn't hit the lure right, didn't hook up. Uh, sun's really high now, so there's not many shadows left on the water. I just drove around looking for some shadows to fish, but there isn't really any left. So I'm pulled up on the bank here. Just gonna take a bit of a break. Celebratory first fish. Having a captain, gonna get a fire going, uh, cook some bacon and eggs, and uh, have a coffee. And these guys are charging around on jet skis, so. Um, not too excited about fishing while they're doing that, but we'll see what happens. Buddy, breakfast of champions, this stuff. Have a look at that for brekkie. Bacon and eggs on the fire, bit of Kewpie, tomato sauce, coffee, going in. Bang that, might go a more, bit more fishing. In the middle of the day, it's only three o'clock, the sun's really high up there. I mean, just come across this first bit of shade of the day and I have just gotten smashed. Oh, he ate it right at the boat too. That would have been an amazing bite to get on film. Oh, that's a bit frustrating. But very happy to have a have a metery on. Oh, he's got it good too. Oh, he's been freshly tagged. Oh, that would have been a great bite to have on film. Frustrating. Sorry about that one, guys. That was my bad. I was just, uh, yeah, I was just daydreaming, fishing really, like just casting because there's nothing else to do, but not expecting much because it's only three o'clock in the Arvo. As you can see, I've got the tunes cranked and this boy just destroyed it. The tremor off the top. I'll get in here. Oh, he's fighting hard too. All right, I've just done the super quick electric over to the bank here. Got my glove on, which I had ready. Uh, fish just sitting in the rod holder here. He's happy in the water. He's not gonna get off. Camera's set up, so now I'm gonna jump in and grab him. And uh, this will be the best for the fish and it'll make the best photo too. So just bring him over here. He's still happy as Larry. As you can see here, he's happy as Larry, he's just breathing in the water, he's fine. Try and do this as quick as possible. In the mouth, there's that duck tremor there. All right. All right, got a tag in him, I have to get the number off that tag. That's him. There's that tremor vibrating away. He's a good fish. You're over the meat of that one. Whew. Yeah, nice fish. All right, I'll get a couple of steals and then we'll get him back. All right, so I've got the tag data from this fish. He's tag number 1022. You can see it there, 1022. So I've taken a photo of that. I'll just give him a quick measure and then we can tell fisheries how long he was and uh, he's pretty ready to go I've hardly taken him out of the water just for those couple of photos that's it so I dare say he will motor off in this clear water thanks for coming big fella thanks for eating a surf slur in the middle of the day that was really cool there he goes that's cool footage oh we didn't like that he's out of here that love it when they eat surfers in the middle of the day spewing that I uh I missed the strike on that one, guys. I'm gonna have to get another one tonight or tomorrow or the next day, or the next day, or the next day. But it's gonna happen again and I'm gonna get it on footage. 
All right, so I told myself this trip that uh, I'd try and catch one on every, you know, the new colors of the Tremor. So that one didn't last long. He got about, I don't know, 25 casts. And he got that 104, so he's out. He's back in the box. And uh, I'll go for the green now. See if we can get a metery on this green. Got the 90 this morning, but uh, needs a metery to be retired. So, and then we'll go for the other colors. Well, that was pretty special. Uh, I think there's only one thing to do after that. It is to get into the esky and uh, get the Bundy out and celebrate our first meteor of the trip. It's pretty awesome. Cheers. But the good news is, after that nice one this morning and then that metery, I uh, might get another grab this afternoon. Still got about two hours of prime time left. So I'm going to get casting pretty hardcore. Uh, and yeah, well, we'll check back in if I hook another one. If not, I'll see you back at camp tonight. That's a pretty good bloody day. And cheers. It's getting fairly late. And what a place to be on prime time. I'm just upstream of... Uh, Brian Smith's 130 snag. If you haven't seen it on YouTube, check it out. Brian Smith catches an absolute gigantic cod off this snag here, off the surface in the middle of the day. It, it is one of the coolest things I've seen. Just back out of here a little bit. It's, um, it's pretty cool. Smithy is an absolute legend. He's got an awesome channel. And uh, yeah, when you come fish this snag, you can just feel the stoke ooze off it. Just, uh, Smithy was one very happy man here. This is it, not this snag I'm fishing now, this one just behind here. It eats his lure right next to that little twig there that's poking out on a cast like this. Let's see if he wants to eat a surface lure again, eh? <laughs> Imagine if I caught him again. I doubt anyone will ever catch him again. He's probably a big, big wise old fish, that one. Probably fish there a thousand times and never get a look at him again. But that doesn't matter because Smithy got him. Good on you, Smithy. Legend of a bloke. The Murray Cod legend, Smithy. On the cod chopper. Flicking the bird, actually. Flicking the bird, he was. Smithy. Okay, well, it's probably too dark to see anything. Oh, you can see a little bit of sky still. Uh, but I'm just on the cruise back upstream now no bites uh, for the twilight session fish some good some really good water though so uh, jumping on the petrol now gonna petrol back up about uh, 800 meters to some real prime stuff so when I push off the bank in the morning I'm just straight into the really good water uh, and then I don't have to drive past it on the petrol in the morning uh, I think the big fish uh, that eat surface are super smart and super aware of their surroundings like soon as that lure lands in there he'll be on it he knows where it landed he'll be swimming out of his snag he'll be looking for it he'll be looking at it so I think why drive past on the petrol and potentially scare that fish like he could hear the boat coming past and then go sulk in his snag for 10-15 minutes um, so that's why I always never drive past your snags that you're gonna fish with the petrol uh, that's just a little thing I do. I don't know if it helps or not, but I'm doing it now and we'll see you in the morning. So uh, I'll see you back at camp. Have a few bundies around the fire. What do you reckon, eh? Hey. Okay, back at camp. Uh, well, camp is just a sandbar. Got the fire going. The boat pulled up on the bank there. And uh, got a stake out to reach room temperature or river temperature and uh, sitting back having a can after a pretty awesome day uh, doesn't get much better than that nice one in the morning and then that big one in the Arvo uh, if every day is as good as that the next 14 days I'm going to have a bloody ripper of a trip but uh, knowing cod fishing it won't be that good every day but if I can get a couple more days like that I'll be a very happy man so um, upstream of some really good timber in the morning so I'll eat this steak and have a kip 
and uh, see you guys in the morning. Hopefully big top water explosion on first light. Okay, welcome. It's another beautiful, uh, calm, clear morning. So I'm gonna get straight into it because uh, it's time to go. I've made a coffee. Uh, let's do it, let's get casting, eh? Alright, so that's probably the only run and gun I'll do all trip just because I want to fish Smithy Snag on prime time and look at how many Corellas we have roosting in those trees over there. It's got to be a good spot. That many birds. I do believe that the really big ones in here do make a meal of those Corellas. The drone of the Corellas here is actually deafening so many it's what i really like it's the next couple hundred meters here on prime time i'm i'm half expecting a bite so loud there's feathers falling in the water got to be a fish here waiting here this is where i caught my surface 130 um Never ever forget this snag. It'll be with me forever. Uh, bloody amazing fish that one. I don't think I'll ever see him again. I don't know if anyone will ever see him again. I'll give him a couple of casts anyway. Pretty much ate it right in and about. there on a cast like that wow so uh this looks like an interesting find get off this stick gosh <laughs> this looks like a really interesting find i think uh this is a surface lure under here snagged under the water with a lot of line attached to it which uh, I would say would have to be done by someone got done over you would think looks like someone's been done over and snapped off by a big cot Oh God. Okay. So. The hooks have been out. Who hooked a big one on this snag on a rat and got snapped off? Okay, so it's now about 3.30 in the Arvo again. The shadow's getting nice and long. Uh, I've just thrown surface all day today. I haven't gone to subsurface after getting that good one off the top. In the middle of the day yesterday, I've just persisted. Surface all day and zero bites. Uh, I was kind of expecting this a little bit this week. Uh, the moon's the worst this week. The flows are still getting altered with this week. Um, everything's in my favor next week. So the first week was always gonna be the harder week of fishing. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, everything comes together next week. We get steadier flows, the moon phase is a lot better, and hopefully we get a bit better weather. So I'm happy to do it a bit tougher this week, although I'm still stoked with the fish I got yesterday. and. Uh, We'll keep persisting now. Hopefully I can get a bite at some stage this over. I'll check in if I get a bite.
small fella. Oh, it's good to get a bite, but wrong size, eh? No, is that not meant to be this small in here? <laughs> oh god. There we are. It's a much smaller specimen than I was hoping for this afternoon. Alright, thanks for coming, mate. Oh, come on, day three. Why you be so hard for? Just give me a big dog. Give me a big dog on this cast. Come on. Okay, the last bit of light is just slipping away for the night. And uh, the last cast of day three has been cast. Big day for one small one. Uh, talk about the highs and lows of cod fishing. On a bit of a high yesterday and on a bit of a low today. But if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. So, so we've got plenty more days ahead. I'm going to head down, try and find a sandbar to sleep on. And I'll see you guys in the dark in the morning. Tomorrow morning, it's on. Big time. Surely big, big. All right, we're not mucking around for dinner tonight. We've got Far North Queensland Nanagai fillet. Gonna have that in wraps with salad and uh, managed to stumble across a camping site with heaps of wood. So having a proper good fire tonight. Nanagai wraps, sleep, then back into it. Bush tally is cranking and uh, large mouth nanny is all sizzled up, ready to go in the wrap. That's living. Okay, so it's uh, it's day four. It's dark, it's just starting to get light. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I'm gonna get into it. It's foggy this morning, so big expectations. Let's do it. Day four on the river, and as you can see, it's an absolute magic morning. Conditions are perfect. Clear skies, foggy, cold. I'm really hoping that it's gonna happen in the next 10 minutes. Good logs, good water. I'm nervous. I'm nervous chucking at big logs like that on a morning like this. All right, I'll check in if it happens. I am recording. Well, it's been a tough morning. Absolute amazing conditions. It was foggy early and now it's overcast so there's not even any sun hitting the water so i'm just gonna have to keep fishing really hard they've got a bite eventually um i won't have breakfast until this is uh where tommy jarman's murray cod fishing career started and ended on this big log uh tom got a gigantic one here with lubin a couple of seasons ago it's like five all-time epic logs on this one bend here. It screams big fish. You can see why they got him here. See if him or one of his mates wants to play today. probably just saw that I just missed the giant one on this stump up here uh, gave him a few casts straight away afterwards and he wouldn't eat it again so I'm just sitting off him about 50 meters here on the Alecky um, I made a quick change to the the big throbber they were bloody they were being dicks about it so I thought why not lighten the mood a bit with the big vibrating penis lure 
and what do you know it got the bite 10 30 in the morning full sun so uh yeah hold on we're going back in he probably won't eat it again but just give him five minutes to recharge and then i'm going to go back there and see if he'll pop up again so all right let's do it No, I don't want to come back. Fuck, there's a massive one free swimming. What the no. fuck? Wait, I'm about to cast it over the... What the fuck, man? That's I'm never... Oh, he poofed it. He poofed it. Oh, he poofed it and he missed it. Wow. I hope I got that on footage, but... uh. That's two big fish in about a hundred meters. Um, I was just cruising along then and I just saw this white belly next to a stick under the water. It's white belly twist and turn. I was like, oh, that's weird. Is that a carp? And then I zoomed in on it and had a look and it's rolled again and it was a massive cod and he's kind of mooched off and I just threw it in the general direction and yeah, he came out and, and slammed it and missed the hooks again. So that's two massive misses in 100 meters that could have been all time two meter in 100 meters but that's top water cod fishing it didn't go my way at all and i missed them so keep fishing so just having a couple casts of subsurface where that one buffed me before see if you'll eat subsurface and this guy eats it. Scared me. I thought it was him. All right, day four. Not going how I had planned. Uh, missed those two big ones. And now I've been casting since 5.45. And I'm pretty sure it's like, I think it's one o'clock now or 1.30 or something. So I'm gonna pull over, have something to eat and drink. So I've got some energy for this afternoon session. Might take a break for a bit. Uh, there's no shadow. No, not many shadows on the water and I haven't had a bite for the last two hours. So um, yeah, I'll check back in in this afternoon. So okay, so day four and the batteries are just about done. I've been going pretty hard in the current all the time. And you can see we're down to 3%. So before they shut off being lithiums, I'm gonna get them on the solar panel charger and put this second set in. All right, I don't know if you guys can see much anymore, but uh, that is pretty well the end of day four. Today was a good day, but a bad day. Nice to get a couple of big bites like that, but uh, sadly they missed the hooks and that's surface fishing for big cod. If I would have landed those two fish today, that would have made my trip. That would have been three meteries, pretty much. That's pretty good. I'd be happy with that. But instead, I was only millimetres away. Missed them. And tough luck. Keep fishing. That's what makes big surface cod so good. When you miss those ones like that, when they stick, they're pretty good. So I'm going to find a spot to camp pretty soon. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is uh, morning five. I'm lacking a bit of motivation this morning to get up and do it after that massive day yesterday just to miss the two fish. But we're going to get up and we're going to do it all over again. But today we're going to stick them. Uh, got a bit of wind and storm coming in the Savo. So that's going to make things interesting. Alright, let's do it. It's 5.45. We're out on the river. Ready to lay the first cast of the morning. I've skipped the coffee this morning. Probably a, a bad call. But, straight into it this morning. Hopefully, I stop and have a break before 12. Not like yesterday. Well, maybe if I don't have a break till 12, that'll be a good thing because I've caught a fish. 
but anyway, it's gonna get light in the next 15 minutes, so <clears throat> it's worse places to be, that's for sure. Okay, well, the GoPro just froze up on me then when I clicked record, but I just got smashed right on first light. Oh, I can't believe that happened. He's a good fish. I'll give you a look at him. Probably a bit dark to see the buff when he buffed it. He had me in a bit of timber. He's a good one. He's a metery. We'll get him. Get him up. Have a look at him. Got a real big heavy one. Oh, yeah. that? oh, he's a proper real big heavy one. It's just a river tank, that fish. Can't get over how actual heavy he is. Not fat, but just proper heavy. He's a proper big, big heavy thing, that thing. Get him back. Check out that big throbber. Okay, there's the big throbber. The big throbber is out. And there's the big throbber of the cod. Beautiful. I'll let you go, girl. Thank you. Oh, God. Yes! How good is it? Oh, stoked with that one. I don't know if I got that on film for you guys. Um, a lot went on there and the GoPro was playing up and it all happened quick and I'm not sure. I may have got the buff, I may have not. So I apologize if I didn't, but I'm gonna get back fishing. Bye -bye. Oh, there he is. This big fella guy. Be 120, I reckon. So this morning was an all-time morning catching those two giants, but this has put a bit of a downer on it. Uh, I'm recording on my GoPro 8 now, it's all good, but the new 9, check out what it's done. So that is the 9 minutes of footage of me catching that massive one, holding it up to the camera, everything, and it is glitched out and won't play it. That's, that is shocking. I'm sorry about that guys, but looks like there's going to be no footage of that big one. Terrible, terrible. I don't know what to say. Okay, well, that was the morning of all mornings. That's the morning that I committed 14 days on the river for, and that second fish was the fish that I committed 14 days on the river for. So happy to get that one, but that's just a massive downer, the fact that the GoPro stuffed up twice there on me and just, well, completely destroyed the footage of both of those fish for me, which is really bad and, um, yeah, I don't even know to put this video up anymore after something like that happens, like the two best parts and you get nothing, but that's just the way it is, I guess. Um, I'm out here on the river to catch them. Uh, I love catching them. Like, I'm still stoked to catch fish like that. I just wanted to film it to show you guys because I know you guys are interested in it and you like it. Um, so it's put a bit of a downer on my day, which is shit because today's an awesome day. But I guess I just got to put that behind me. There's nothing I can do about it now. I'm going to use my older GoPro now to do all the action filming. And hopefully, well, that one doesn't freeze up on me and delete footage and stuff. So uh, I think the new GoPro 9 has been canned. Um, I won't use that anymore. I don't know. GoPro needs to do some updates or something. I'll try my best to recover that footage. I don't know if some of it's usable or what or if there's a program. But I'll try that. But... Anyway, um, I'm going to pull over, have a coffee, something to eat. Didn't even have a coffee before I started this morning, but it did the trick. So uh, still plenty more days ahead. I know the footage is gone on those fish, which sucks. I probably won't get one that big again. 
but uh, I'll try my best um, to hopefully get some more footage and some better footage. And it's only day five. Uh, I've got another possible 10 days to go. Cheers. Missed, missed the smaller one in there. Wasn't a bad fish. Let's see if it come out again. Far out. Far out. Oh. Far out. He caught me good, that fella, didn't he? <laughs> Ripped the reel straight off the rod, eh? Look at you go, you cheeky little bugger. Oh, this day just keeps getting better. Well, there we go, guys. Looks like I've got one on GoPro for you. Third fish of the morning, and finally, I got some footage for you guys. He's not a metery, but he's a nice one. It'd be like 85 or something, maybe, maybe 90. Maybe 90. Uh. All right, get him back in the drink. Then we can get another one, I guess, hey? Hey, wave goodbye, mate. The last hook isn't in him by much. Should come straight out here. If we can get hold of it. Thanks for coming, buddy. There he goes, straight back to his big snag right there. They're on this morning. Three. Oh, I missed one smaller buff, you'll see that. I'll put that footage in, I got that footage. Uh, missed one smaller one, two big ones, got one smaller one. Taking a quick break. This afternoon, it's pretty windy, stormy. I'm taking a bit of a break to recharge the batteries and uh, cook a decent feed might have a bit of salad a bit of greenery and the last of the nanogai from the other night <laughs> load up on secret sauce too not too bad of a lunch by the river and uh this give me some energy get back out there this afternoon for the big sand trying to charge batteries but it's uh not working too well with all this cloud cover. But I'm gonna get into this. It's bloody freezing, but I think it's about as warm as it's gonna get. So time to go for a swim. At least the water's nice and clean at the moment. Oh, that's cold. Oh, I don't know if I'll ever see me nuts again, but it was refreshing at least. All right, well, that's the end of day day five on the water. That was an amazing day. Uh, no bites this afternoon, but to get those two big fish this morning was all time. Um, the whole point of this drift was to get try and get one of those big fish that I got this morning, that really big one. That just tops off the trip for me to get a meter 20 monster like that off surface out of the Murray. Uh, spewing a bit about the footage, but there's nothing I can do about that. 
Um, I'm gonna go back to camp now. You see the moon's out. I'm gonna go back to camp now, cook up a feed, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna have Tom from Lego Head Lewis jump in with me, and we're gonna see if we can get him his first surface metery. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, morning, day six. Tom's jumped on with me today. And just as it was getting light straight away, fucking bang. He's got a good one. Be around the meter mark. Get some photos of him. All right, let him go on the Lego head paddler, that one. Big pies for that. Colby Lesko, <laughs> surface king. Hume does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. I'll fucking roll up now. Is Hume full? Oh, it's pretty full. Oh yeah, got him. Another big dog. Yes. Oh, I got another one. You're joking. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> up him. Up him. Oh. He's good fish and he's going back to the timber. Oh no. Oh. He's got me in yeah. there. Yeah. No. I can't believe how he just feline for that log. Bit. <laughs> what way do you reckon we need to go? Um, Shit, that doesn't sound good. Let him feed it. What way do you reckon we need to go? Hit it. Down there. That's him. Is that you? No, that's him. You hooked him real good, but um. I've seen him just V-line for that shit. Holy, Holy shit. Touching me? She's like three meters down. Can't even touch anything. Oh. Come through on there, right? Was it you? Let's no. try and snap that shit that he's on. It might snap your fish off. Oh, who cares? Nothing, nothing else we can really do. It's funny we can get this on GoPro. Right? Oh, you got coming out. Fuck, you didn't like. Is that you or me? You got something? The cunt just took off, eh? Like oh, it's moving, but. Whatever you just done, oh, he's still there. He doesn't like that splashing on him, does he? That <laughs> hit him on the head. We pulled every trick in the book. I don't reckon he's as big as your last one, man. He is. You reckon? I reckon. You gonna get the punt? <sighs> He'd be tired. He's a meadery, that one, bro. He's a proper. Proper donkey. He was bigger. You reckon? Yes. He's a proper big donkey, that one. We got him out of the tin bay. He was in there for 15 minutes. I think the GoPro was running for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thought he was gone, but let's go cut with the goods with the anchor. I think the anchor's still stuck in yeah. there. <laughs> anchor and tackle back trick. Got it done. Yeah. Sick. Put the big fella back. Thanks, mate. Go get me anchor out for me, would you, bud? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it is day six today out on the river. Another great day. Uh, Tom got those two fish this morning, which was bloody awesome to see him get his first surface metery like that. And then to see him get another one is even better. Uh, great morning. I'm sure he won't forget that in a long time, and it was cool to watch. Uh, he completely outfished me. I didn't even get a bite. He managed to catch those two and miss another one. But that's all good. I had my fun yesterday and I might have my fun later this Arvo or maybe tomorrow. Um, just chilling out at the moment. Got the batteries on charge here. Uh, getting some juice back in them because I'm running down to 60% on my second set. Uh, 
had some more GoPro issues this morning. <laughs> so uh, Tom's given me his nine to uh, finish the trip off with. Thanks heaps, mate. Um, don't buy a GoPro nine. They're not that good. Um, but we'll keep plugging away. Uh, pretty awesome fishing at the moment, really, to get those uh, two meteries yesterday morning for me. The two meteries this morning for Tom. And the morning prior to those two mornings, I missed those two. So that could be uh, six meter plus fish in three mornings if we were to prick all of those. Um, so it's definitely fishing well. Definitely going to fish hard these next few days. Just, uh, it's not going to get any better than this, that's for sure. Uh, this is pretty good fishing. Um, crunching some Ks now, getting down river a bit further. Tom's gone home and I've got the rest of the next two days by myself and then I've got a, a mate jumping in for the weekend, possibly two mates to finish it off for the weekend and then I'll be back solo for a couple of days. So keen to see what else can happen at the moment. It's five meters in the boat on day six, plus two about 90, plus those two big misses. So the stats are pretty good. I know I've missed a few of the buffs, well, most of the buffs, but I've got a few now as well, and I'm sure I'll get you guys a big one in the next couple of days. But anyway, I'm going to get back to casting, and I'm going to try and catch a big one myself, and I'll try and get it on video for you guys. <laughs> Amazing Arvo. I can't believe I haven't got a bite. Calm. Cockies are out and about. Clear skies, beautiful. Come on. So no bites this afternoon. It was a beautiful arvo, nice and calm. I thought I was gonna get a bite, but uh, no touches. So back at camp now, uh, cooking up pork wraps, uh, big reload. And then let's see if we can make it a double metery morning again tomorrow. See you then. Welcome to morning seven of the trip. Uh, woke up nice and early this morning, about 4.30. Been lying there for the last 40 minutes. I've decided to just get up and get into it. It's still pitch black, but I can't sleep. Uh, the jet boil is on. Coffees are on. Gonna get this coffee and get into it. Hopefully one week in, day seven going to produce for us. High expectations, it's been a nice night. So. Well, it's been a stellar morning. Nice and calm, overcast, cold. Uh, no bites though. I think uh, finally due for maybe a donut day after three days of them feeding pretty good. You can't catch them all the time and it's nice for them to remind me how hard they can be. Fished some amazing stuff this morning. Probably 100 plus epic logs, no bites. Keep plugging away though, it's still early, only about eight o'clock. Uh, got good cloud cover, so. Continue with the surface. Although I haven't taken the surface off for three days now, so yeah. If you want to catch them on surface, you got to throw surface. And I love catching them on surface, so I'll happily throw surface all day. That's the morning at day seven, done and dusted. It was a hard morning, uh, overcast, calm, not a single bo uh, buff or bite. Just didn't feel like it was going to happen at all. So uh, now I'm just cooking up a feed. Uh, Tom has given me some salami sausages in exchange for the metery charter. So uh, we're just cooking these up. I got fresh fresh meat again. Uh, I was nearly out of fresh meat. Um, but now I've got these for the next couple of days before I'm back on the canned stuff and noodles and rice. And uh, yeah, seven days down and possible another seven to go if I keep drifting the whole time. But I'm well over halfway in terms of kilometers. So um, spend these next three or four days down the river and see what happens. I might have a change of spot or I might keep going. So I'll 
gonna have this to eat and then go back out keep casting surface because it's overcast i'll check back in if anything happens hopefully it does well uh seven days of casting is just about done it to the hand i hold the reel with uh it's cramping really starting to hurt can't give it a break because i keep casting so what i'm going to do is switch over to the other hand to see if that helps so i'm holding the reel with the left and winding with the right I'm hoping that will help. That's what I usually do when I get sore, but uh, casting big baits, the tremor's three and a half ounces. Casting that non-stop for seven days is, uh, yeah, starting to take its toll on the hands, arms, and shoulders. So uh, we'll keep the keep the JD's custom sleigh in. See if we can get more than 12 meters on it. The surface stick. And uh, go to the old spud wind. Right hand wind, eh? Not my preferred, but I am anti-dextrous at it, and I usually have a rod rigged up with both. So it doesn't bother me. It just gives your hands a break, but I do prefer left. You don't have to swap hands every time you cast. But this will do me just nicely, hopefully. <laughs> uh, day seven has been an absolute slog. It's overcast, kind of stormy, strange weather. I uh, haven't had a bite all day, been casting surface all day because it's overcast. Taking a break now, going to have a Dean Reed. Uh, recharge the batteries and go again this afternoon. Uh, Since it's overcast, I'll probably only take half an hour. Just drifting through a slightly average piece of water here. It's not heaps of good shallow timber. So, um, drift past this and get casting again as soon as we find some good shallow timber, which I can see coming already. So, it mightn't be much of a break at all. But uh, that's the advantage of moving down the river. Um, just let the current take me on the bad bits and have a bit of a break, something to eat. You know, retie your leader if you need to. And then you're straight on the good bits again. Uh, is an effective way to fish and I've got to see the whole lot of the river now so uh, most of it I had fished already but there's little sections in there that I hadn't been through so it was really nice to just link it all together and uh, know the pieces of water I know I don't know this piece of water at all now uh, I've got about another 15 k's of water that I don't know and then it's into stuff I know again and um, I'll fish my way all the way down to the car in some good stuff that I know and uh, once I get to the car, which is probably only about 40 k's away now, I can make the call if I fish down from there or go back up higher. Uh, I think I might just fish down from there. I've never fished down from there. Might just carry, carry on with the drift, keep moving, and then use what petrol I do have to drive back up at the end of it all. Um, yeah, so anyway, coming up to some good timber, I'm gonna get back casting. So it's getting late in the Arvo on day seven. I've just got the fire going, as you can see behind me there. Uh, just gonna have a little fish on the snags opposite here as it gets dark and then head back to the sandbar to camp on. Uh, that, yeah, that's a full week on the river and uh, the video is already gonna be really long. I've got a couple hours of footage from this first week. So what I'm gonna do is uh, split this 14 day trip up into two videos. So. The first week, this video you're watching now, and then all the footage from the second week, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I dare say it's gonna be good because the moon phase is better, the flows are better, everything is better this next week, and I'm pretty bloody excited to get out there and see what it produces after how it's fished this week. Uh, still got about 50 or 60 k's of river to drift before I decide what else I wanna do. Might keep drifting, might head back up to where I got some of the other fish. Not sure yet, but this next week's going to be really good. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, like and subscribe. And keep your eye out for part two the second week. Hopefully it's as good as this week. And now that I've got a GoPro 9 that doesn't stuff up, hopefully I get all the strikes on film. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on part two, week two. Cheers.